Hey everybody, this is Sandra, and I am at work, and I just have a little nugget for you today. And it's called, A Nation, in Greek that means race, turn, that means to change in Greek, away from God, which is our Father in Greek. Ezekiel 33, 11, it says, Say to them, as I live, declares, means to announce in Greek, the Lord, which is our Master in Greek, God, which is our Father in Greek. I have no pleasure, means to desire in Greek in the death of the wicked which means lawless in greek but that the lawless the wicked i mean it was just lawless in greek uh turn that means to change from his ways that means uh for what reason and live turn means to change in greek back turn means to change in greek back from your evil which is wicked uh ways for why, it says, for what reason will you die, O house of Israel? All right, this is just a little nugget God's given me today. And um, I was watching Jim Baker's show, and they're just showing the violence that's going on in the cities. We need, as Christians, you need to go to the Word. You need to look up this, uh, the scriptures that talk about our land. If, if you can't do that... Uh, go to the internet and print out everything the Bible says about our land and start decreeing, declare what the word says about our land. Uh, we need to start decreeing, declaring peace over our nation. We need to um, pr uh, pray. We need to fast. We need to, to get in our word. Uh, we need to um, hit our knees like we have never done before. This, this election in November is life or death what God says is life or death. You choose life, which is uh, we have to put Trump back in and get the Democrats out. Or you choose death and the Dem you let the Democrats win and then it's going to be socialism. And God said it's, socialism is not just going to be the Jews in the camp, it's going to be the Christians in the camp. Now, if you can't stand for yourself, I mean, if you're Let's face it, if you're a coward, then you need to ask God to give you supernatural strength and courage and boldness. Bible says ask and he'll give it to you. Um, you know, um, sometimes, I, sometimes you just need to pray and ask God, you know, loose my lips, Lord, loose my tongue so he can say what he needs to say through you. Um, we need to start fasting for our nation. You know, it's been weeks. I've been telling you, God says we need to fast three days a week for our nation. Three days a week, every week for our nation. God's the only one going to be able to turn this around and give us another chance. Um, so let's, you know, if you can't, if you can't take a stand for yourself, take a look at your children and your grandchildren. Look at them. I did it last week. I sit there and I look for everything that's going on in my little six-year-old granddaughter. What kind of life is she going to have in this nation? We're not just fighting for us. We're fighting for our children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and so on. Yeah, God has a point in time for everything, but God says this is not time yet for the Antichrist. But it's up to us Christians. It's up for the lukewarm that's in the church and out of church. Get your butt out of the church. I mean, out of the world and get into the church. Let's pray together. Let's fast together. Come into unity. No matter what church you're in. Let's get everyone in the churches in your city or your wherever. And come together to, and pray together. That's all God's given me. So take it as you will. Like it or not. Pray like you've not prayed before. We need it. Amen.